Yo guys, I've got a spark which I'm going to use to ignite the fire. For a brand new episode of the Sky Trap Team Salt City series here on the channel, we are continuing this midway through a speedrun right now. The speedrun of the Operation Troll Rocket Steel. This is for 40. First episode. When I said this was going to be a 42 episode long series, I was wrong. In fact, I probably could not be more wrong. <laughs> this is going to wind up being 45 of a minimum. We still have several levels to four star, and we have the final Chaos Doom Challenge to tackle. And we also got to hope uh, that we get the enemy goal here, because if not, I would have tackled the uh, grenade section for no reason whatsoever, and put my um, speedrun in danger for no good reason. i got to make sure I'm successful in all objectives, which include enemy goal, it includes the collectibles, which I have um, just did up, those have been checked off. So say I just got to make sure I do everything from the fourth star successfully. Ooh, orange slice. Do not mind if we do, my friends. Do not mind if we do. Luckily, though, it feels as though I defeated more enemies than I did the last time I was here, so we should be set. Keyword here should be. That is not a guarantee. Nothing in life is never a guarantee. Nothing in life is never a guarantee. That's contradictory. What I mean to say is that nothing in life is ever a guarantee. Okay, there you go, he's going down, told you so. Oh, Troll and Thunder, it, uh, otherwise known as a Kryptonite, the one and only thing that's capable of defeating Crypt King in this game. Crypt King is a beast, except for when it comes to Troll and Thunders, stinking Troll and Thunders. They are his Kryptonite. Okay, let's go! Yeah, baby! Okay, they're all dead, which is fantastic, as are the grenades. The question is, was this 60 enemies that I've gone through and defeated by now? Okay, you're all dead, fantastic. Boom, baby, get wrecked, people, get wrecked. Is that right, Mr. Fretpack person, is that right, is it? Okay, let's check our objectives and our enemy goal. We're five short! Oh no! I'm not sure if there's five enemies at the end, I think there's four. I think there's four enemies at the end and we're going to be short by our um, enemy goal by one. Yeah, there's one. Uh, threat pack counts as one. There's two over there. We're not going to be one short, are we? That's going to be such a piss take if we're one short in the end. I think we're going to be one short. If I stick around for long enough, uh, do more enemies spawn? Like, how is our speedrun looking also? The speedrun is looking fine. No switch is looking fine. We're missing a hat, apparently. Where are we missing a hat? We are missing stuff I didn't even know we were missing. This is what I get for not object uh, checking the objectives earlier. So we are still short on the enemy goal. Oh, this level is a piss take. This level is a piss take. I hate this level right now so much. Like, this level is great, except for 100% objectives that are really annoying. Like, why give us an enemy goal of 115 when there's barely 115 enemies? I should not be struggling to get the enemy goal when I have defeated every single fucking enemy in the level. And I certainly should not be one sort short in that scenario. I have defeated optional enemies and still not got it. We confiscated the rocket, we got that 4 star, but the idea of getting um, 4 stars in one run... Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> Thank you for nothing, you useless level. Let's get out of here and we'll worry about speedrunning the Sky Highlands for now. So here we are going off to the Sky Highlands, as promised. No doubt you just heard a massive squeak from my chair right there. I would apologise, but I won't. Yeah, this is true. Let's shoot some folk. That's a good plan. I like that plan. Yep, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're about as dead as they come. Uh, which is my favourite state for a Sky Pirate to be in. Okay, there's more things that are in desperate need of shooting right now. Boom! Oh man, we uh, hit it straight right there. Head on! It was a head on collision. And not a good one at that. Not that head on collisions are ever good. But we're already at 13 and we can get some boosts from Flynn. Oh, shit! His ship was literally right there. <laughs> okay, let's get rockets. Die! Or not! That's a bit of a nuisance, not gonna lie. Okay, let's get boost in. Fantasticas! I have rockets now! <laughs> They're in trouble. 
Got him! Okay, we're not going to be able to get to that pirate in time, but we can blow that guy up. Fantastic. Boom. Boom. That guy just kind of commits Loki right there. Boom. Yeah, because i got multiple enemies at once, of course Flynn likes it. Anyway, boom. Now all I need to do is track down uh, all of these pirate enemies and rocket them up. Say hello to my little friends. Hey. I love the fact that it gives us the objectives to land on the platform, like it's something we have to do manually, and then the game just does it by, uh, auto. <laughs> like, what's the point in giving us the objective if we aren't to do it ourselves? Anyway, let's get in there. We're gonna, you know, not even worry about these guys. These guys aren't compulsory fights, so we're just gonna get the key and skedaddle. We're gonna speed run through it, in other words. Man, am I glad I don't need to worry about fucking turret sections after this level. They can finally be done for. See ya, fella. Wouldn't want to be ya. You're a bit dead right now, is why. Oh, you're more than a bit dead. You are very dead. Okay, awesome. These two are dead as well. Fantastic. Soon this guy shall be. Told you so. Okay, this guy's got to go. We're getting them slowly but surely, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So much so, in fact, that I'm saying it twice, repetition for effect and all that. That effect being to put emphasis on the very thing I am repeating. Bad Juju is dead, which is great, obviously. It would, how would it not be great? It's obviously great, which is why I added the obviously in there, even though I didn't need to, because it's so darn obvious. Okay, sweet. And now we have a game of Skystones to win. I mean, play. Actually, no, I didn't mean win. He's going down. The mighty Hogmongus. Well, he'll be mighty. No more. Let's play some Skystone Smash. Yes, yeah, such gamesmanship. I'm having a feeling that the hat I left behind in um, Operation Troll Rocket Steel might have been a hat you got from Frankenstein's Villain Quest. The fact that I didn't even know Frankenstein's Film Quest had a hat would imply that that's exactly the problem. How I didn't pick it up the first time I beat his Film Quest is beyond me, but that does sound like something very stupid, and I do very stupid things way too often. Okay, sweet! He's done! There's nothing he can do that can beat me now. Told you so. Okay, let's skip over all this unnecessary deep stew. Fantastic! And then we're gonna, you know, have to give Tessa the time to speak, which is unfortunate because I really wish she didn't speak right now. But asking Tessa to not be speaking right now is something that is clearly asking for too much. Oh, it was pretty nice, wasn't it? Heading into the cannon like that. Pretty nice indeed, but we have three more of these sections to go in this level. Boy, this isn't gonna get tiresome, said no one ever. Awesome, they're all dead. Love to see it. These guys soon will be too. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Get back here! Let me shoot you! Or not. You know, do whatever you want. It's a free country. <laughs> it's a free country, so you go ahead and do whatever fuck you want, man. Okay, are they dead? Yes, they are. That's fantastic. Soon all of those guys will be down too. I told you so. And let's unleash our robot rampage! Boom, he is out of here. Yeah, kablam, that's one way of putting it. So now we get to continue to platform through the level. This is easily one of the best levels in the game. I might barely ache about my turret sections and the sky stones, but the variety is truly what makes this level stand out. And the design, it's a huge, like, prism. That is clever. It creates the interesting visuals, like for example that mermaid right there, the purple zoo crystals that are everywhere. A very nostalgic callback to Sparrow's Adventure, where you'd see these all around the Malkin mines. Okay, let's destroy that crate. Mostly for looking at me funny, no other reason. It's a short level too. It's short and sweet and very fast paced. Okay, these guys are going down. Oh yeah! As are all of these guys, every last one of them. Okay, let's see what we got. 
Oh, you're going down, sucker. He was pretty much halfway dead before he even had the chance to land. I almost feel sorry for him. Okay, let's hit him. Fantastic. And boom, baby. Boom, baby. Yeah, cartwheeling for the win. Get him out of here. And I believe that means it's time for yet another turret section. Clearly, we haven't had enough of them already. Yeah, I could do with uh, less shooting, more literally anything else. But you know what, we're just going to blaze through this, no problem. Have as much of a blast as you can possibly have, whilst having to deal with sections that you don't want to deal with. I also am having to deal, a deal with being shot when I really don't want to be shot, but unfortunately you don't always get what you want in life. Being an adult means doing things that sometimes you don't want to do. And in this case, that involves getting shot and having to do all the shooting, because shooting enemies is not nearly as boring, or is not nearly as fun even. It's beating them up! I'd way rather beat these guys up! I mean, Gear Shift, she has projectiles, she can just kick their project- she can just kick her projectiles accurately at enemies and forget the whole turret part! Who needs a turret when Gear Shift is involved? She practically is a turret! That is a good question, how come Flynn can feel that? That makes no sort of sense whatsoever. No logic, no sense. Nothing can really be made out of that sentence. Man, we took more damage. We took so much damage that round, and I have no idea how, because normally I'm better in turret sections, uh, sections than this. Okay, Hulkmongus, let's get this game of Skystones out of the way. Well, I want to do it quickly, but unfortunately asking for it to be done quickly is asking too much, because once again, you're too busy speaking for me to be doing much of anything else right now. Yeah, sure, whatever you say there, Hulkmongus. Whatever you say, chum. So this is round uno. Chill Bill. Chill Bill. Not a good start for him because I'm, I'm going to be bringing out my Golden Queen. Shrednaught, eh? Well, that's what we have Smokescreen for. Yeah, baby. He's about to die. Because that's what we have Wolfgang for. Okay, sweet. We got all that unnecessary deeps to skip over by pressing the best button video game. First skip button. Okay, these are the upper elevators. Yeah, there you go. Oh, nah, mate. That wasn't very efficient, was it? Okay, there you go. That's more like it. That's what I was looking to do for the first time, and then I failed at doing it. Die, 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 die. This is lots of death, and we love to see it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that now we've uh, been one short of the enemy goal of uh, in the Troll Rocket Steel twice. One short of it twice. Now that... That is painful. Okay, you are dead. I think. Maybe not. There you are. Now they're all dead like. Okay, let's hit up for turret. And shoot some more enemies. That's what we do best in these turrets after all. So they do. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, this guy's got to go. Sweet, we got him out of here! Yes, blueberries do do that. Congratulations for noticing there, Mags. You noticed that blueberries do do that. Do do! Haha, <laughs> that's funny right there. Okay, let's shoot these guys. Okay, I'm going to interrupt this current turret section, which I had to say slowly because it's a bit of a tongue twister uh, for some reason. Current turret. But that being said, we're going to interrupt this gameplay all the same because nothing interesting is happening. And instead, we're going to replace an interesting gameplay by interesting gameplay. That being Nightshade's Villain Quest. That's right, we're going to mask the uh, Villain Quest as I continue to commentate. Um, so that then we can, you know, mask it all up in the edit and make it look all professional like in the same vein as what we did for Luminous's Villain Quest. It means I've got to return to and fro for Nightmare Museum a few times. So enjoy the footage of Nightshade's Villain Quest being sold before you. Hopefully it was a blast and we even got a hat out of it. But now we're back to our regularly scheduled Sky Highlands uh, solo shot speedrun. And it's time to conclude it in a successful manner, one would hope. But this is Gear Shift we're talking about. Her middle name might as well be Success. She is Gear Success Shift. That's her name in full. There you go. Success is her middle name. Okay, let's take down that guy. 
Okay, let's also watch out for attacks. We don't want to get hit. That's the last thing we want, really. Cool, you're dead. Love to see it, we do. We love to see it. Die, 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 death, yeah. Okay, that's more death. We love to see it. The more death, the merrier. More is more, might I remind you. Okay, here we are. Wait for it. Let's get him. Got him! I said he was going to get him, and then right after I said he was going to get him, what did I do? I got him, I got him. Okay, more mashing for the win. Oh, this character is so much fun. How can you not have fun just blurring that guy from afar whilst you mash buttons uh, like crazy? For some reason, we aren't getting the um, elemental uh, for Traptanium buff even. Again, not that Gear Shift even needs it. It's a pretty common bug though for Gear Shift not to get the uh, Traptanium buff. I think it's because of the mode her weapon's currently in. Yeah, there you go, now we've got the buff. Yeah, take my buff to the face! Right when you thought I wasn't powerful. Who am I kidding? Everyone knew I was always powerful, but right when you thought I couldn't get any more powerful, I went on the head and got myself that buff right there. Glorious, and no doubt we have that um, middle star, no problem. Not the middle star, quadruple star, the fourth one. Far, uh, far? No, star, numero, quadro. No doubt we have it, and I'll be very satisfied to see if we do. Boom, baby. There's one, two, Three and four. Let's go. We didn't switch. We already had the time to be nailed, but you know, in the end, the solo shot is what granted us that uh, four star, and that is awesome. But what we're gonna do now is we just saw Nightshade's villain quest. Okay, my apologies about that cut right there. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch out for Wildfire since he beasted Illuminus's um, boss fight so well. We're going to entrust him with the task of solo shot in Sunscreen Aspire, because the only thing left in this level to do is the solo shot. We've already got the speedrun, we've got the villain quest sorted, and all of the other stars are accounted for, as you see, which means we have all of the collectibles, all of the um, areas accounted for. In other words, so long as Wildfire can get through this level on his lonesome, it doesn't matter how long it takes, so long as we don't switch, we will have this four star in the bag. Let's take them down. Let's take them down. Let's take them down. Let's take them all down, why don't we? Yeah, this is what the line of fire looks like. Nice. No, I'm not wondering much of anything. I'm just wondering how fast can I skip over your necessary deeps to? Uh, definitely mags. Of course you're definitely mags. You're definitely not, not mags. So you've got to be mags. Okay, those enemies, we don't even need to worry about defeating because we can just bypass them, which is exactly what we're going to do. Oh, wow. Wow! I'm on invisible platforms! That is pretty awesome. Okay, you're dead. And now the area is open to us. Let's get to it. Yeah, baby. And now, we super jump away! Again, I don't need to speed run this level, I'm just speedrunning it, because the faster I get through it, the more fast-paced this series will be. And that's exactly what I want from it, for the series to be as fast-paced as possible. Really, dude? Really? Die. Why are you not dead yet? Okay, that's more like it. Now you're dead. We've got to be very careful though, we can't lose wildfire to enemies, not when we need to keep them around for the sake of the luminous fight, mind you. Okay, there you go, fantastic. We do need this bomb right now, so we're going to go ahead and grab that. Hopefully we'll get some food along the lines. Because you can't go much wrong with food, or any other form of healing for that matter, but for unfortunately even, um, wildfire here doesn't really have healing to call his own. Not from mobility anyway, the only way for this guy to heal is with um, food, which is why we're on the lookout for such a thing. I really wish we could skip over um, definitely mags, and definitely not not mags. I wish we could skip over her necessary deeps doing, but that's asking for too much. Yes, I guess. 
You know, lots of S's. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, you're definitely not that, Mags. You can't possibly be that. How could you possibly be that when you're not that? You're definitely not, not Mags. Which means you're definitely Mags. 1000% you are Mags. We've got a hint of sarcasm in all show about. Man, I'm making the same jokes over and over again, and this is what Skywolf Stream calls out for, folks. Guys, we have to do better. Skywolf Stream is always watching. Yeah, that's right. Monster Zinc reference for the win. Now we're up for second quarter island, and we're gonna annihilate some enemies, I hope. We're also going to leave a chomp chest for hell enough alone because that means he won't be able to deal damage to us if we leave him alone. That's a good plan, I like that plan. Okay, let's get spinning this thing. Perfect. Now let's get out of here, we skedaddle man, we skedaddle. Oh, I thought I hit the laser from it there, which technically I did my tail penetrated for laser, but luckily for me the game didn't count that and we were able to traverse over the bridge. No questions asked. Speaking of bridges, we now have this one to worry about. Luckily, even with its uh, cracked up parts, we could still make the jumps no problem. And now we get to super jump ourselves out of here. And we have a log puzzle, which is going to be no problem because this is what we have the keys for. How glorious indeed. Open sesame. Okay, here we are, for one time in the game where the light element pops up as being the strongest one of the area. The one and only time, don't get too used to this, it never happens again throughout the rest of the game. Where did he go? Is he dead? God, I hope so. If he's dead, then that means he can't hit us, and the less he hits us, the better, obviously. Okay, we definitely want to heal up, because at the end of the day, when we went into Luminous with Wildfire beforehand, he had full health. And if we don't go in swim with full health again, it's going to make the solo shot all the more tough. Boom! Get blown up. And now let's be super jumping away. And we're going to do it again. Yeah, luckily for the third and the fourth quarter are uh, pretty quick, if not the uh, quickest ones in the level. In fact, this is a short level period. We're not doing half bad for ourselves here, time wise. This is for crystal corridors, where enemies pretty much just kill themselves. And I'm a-okay with that. Why can't more enemies do that? One can only dream. Okay, fantastic. Let's push that into place. Nice one. And let's also be spinning this right round, baby. Right round, like a record player. Right round, round, round. Boom. Boom. And, uh, shake that room. We're gonna try and stand as far behind the crystal as we possibly can, because this will provide cover from the projectile enemies when they arrive. And, you know, the less damage we take, the better. The better the shot we have against the uh, Social Shot and Luminous. We take little damage, obviously. Okay, now we watch out for projectiles, which we did. Didn't take a single hit, which is glorious, but we could still be doing with some goddamn mother fudging food. Where's all the food in this joint? <laughs> I haven't seen a single orange slice. And is it really too much to ask for a simple orange slice, man? Hey, that was rude. I was minding my own business, just pushing these blocks into place, and you came in and attacked me from behind. Very, very rude indeed. Okay, apparently that didn't hit him. Ooh, but my uh, shield pound sure did. And there is the food we were looking for. Okay, stun him and finish him off. Fantastic. More health for Maria. Yeah! More stunnage! Sweet. Okay, now we're going to let those guys filter onto the platform. And we're going to let them fall to their deaths. See ya! And now we get out of here. We have 907 health to spare, but this is where things get tough. Because this combat section is easy said and done. Boom, boom. Shake room. Okay, now let's push some of these into place. There you go, and there you go. I said there you go. There you go, that's more like it. Oh, I love being able to stun these guys. It's so convenient, as is for Orange Slice, to be fair. Okay, we still have some more of these enemies. That's what we projectiles for. Are they dead yet? Yes, they're dead yet. It's about damn time, man. About damn time! And up we pop. Man, that's one hell of a bounce pad. Anyway, let's uh, blow some shit up. 
fantastic. Oh boy, we took a hit to the spikes. That's not what we wanted. Not even close. Okay, we've got to watch out for the laser, actually. Boom! Blow him up. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to blow up. Okay, there you go. We have that all sorted. I want the bomb now. Thank you, game. We run, we run, we run. Well, we jump specifically. Boom! Hey, stop hitting me! I need all the health I can get! Boom, boom, shake room. He's done. Let's just stand here, let it blow it up. Boom! Now that is the most efficient way to blow that thing up. Why did I just do that the entire time I was struggling to blow that up? The amount of times I've struggled to blow that, th blow that thing up and I could have just done that the entire time. Anyway, blow it up. Boom! And now, all we need to do is not die to Luminous and we will have a successful solo shot to speak of. Yes, for four locks have been, well, unlocked. That's what you do to locks. You un them. Now, things that are locked are unlocked. Oh, is that right, Mags? Is that right, is it? Well, let's do this thing. Cross my heart, hope not to die. That's the promise I have for you. The promise that we will be doing a solo shot today. And that solo shot shall continue as I post commentate for the rest of this battle. I'm bringing in post commentary so I can actually acknowledge the premiereness of this video, I suppose. Which is a bit of an odd word. All I did was add nets to the end there. And speaking of stuff I did, I'm now beginning to absolutely obliterate um, Luminous here. I almost feel sorry for him. Almost, anyway. Luminous is obviously part of the thumbnail for this here premiere. And let me know in the chat if you've been enjoying this episode and by accident this series. It's coming to an end now and I've won. I'm going to miss it. We only have uh, a matter of a couple of couple of episodes left. That's right, we're at episode 41 this is and there's only 46 episodes between part of the series. But now I've acknowledged the whole premiere situation and again let me know in premiere chat how your day is going and what you've thought of this episode and by accident the series. That all being said and done, um, this premiere is coming out right after I streamed the finale of the Telltale's Walking Dead Season 1. So that series in and of itself has been an emotional rollercoaster, that's for sure. That series is going to return next year with Season 2, and I mean next year quite literally. I am taking a break from that game throughout December so I can focus on Horizon Red West instead. It's about time I completed that game because I would love to complete that game on stream sometime this year. Especially now that it's been nominated for Game of the Year, and that's my personal Game of the Year, so it's the one I'm rooting for. But let's be honest here, when we're pitting it against Ragnarok and Elden Ring, it stands no chance. But now, as you can see, I avoided those with pinpoint accuracy. This is going to be a close one, because Luminous, whilst it certainly is doable um, in a solo manner, it's no easy solo shot this boss fight. It's one of the hardest modes in the game there, I even say. Perhaps I should have used Crypt King Cheese Lord, but he would have really struggled with a speedrun there. And speaking of speedrunning, I absolutely sped around the um, skip button, best button video game. Got that unnecessary deep stew out of here. So that being said, we now have more lasers, one of which is impossible to avoid. I hate how this boss will just spam you with lasers and they will be summoned um, when you least expect it and that makes them impossible to dodge because you don't get any sort of um, acknowledgement towards where they're going to be summoned beforehand. But hey, Luminous' health bar has been absolutely obliterated right now. My lord, I didn't even keep track of how quickly we're bringing it down. Wildfire is just that much of a beast, mind you. But say, so that's pretty much uh, what's happened with the foreseeable future. Telltale's Walking Dead streaming series is going to be uh, put off until December, well, the end of December, uh, and towards the beginning of 2023. Wow, that's going to usher in a new age for the channel, probably. But I have plenty of exciting things, uh, and that's your news update. But now we're going to return back to our regularly scheduled commentary. Hells to the yeah, let's go. We managed to barely clutch out that not switching right there. And by having to reset the boss after all things, but it would appear that after you reset a boss, you can still get a successful don't switch objective, which is no doubt what makes it more possible for the ultimate weapon to be completed successfully, because getting through the chaos boss fight without losing any scanners, that's a tough one. However, if you lose one and you restart the boss fight, doesn't um, screw around with your objectives. And that's exactly what's happened today, mind you. 
had a power cut, but the auto save allowed for me to restart the boss, get the health all the way back up, and complete it from there, not switching, and by clutching out at the last most possible moment. So yeah, I do apologise that the post commentary uh, came in for the entirety of the boss fight there, but literally nothing I can do when a power cut literally comes in and um, restarts the whole boss fight for me. I'm just lucky that, first of all, there was an autosave that allowed me to restart the chapter from the boss fight. And uh, second of all, I'm just glad that it gave me the opportunity to restart from full health and there wasn't exactly anything I could do against it. I'm powerless against literal power cuts. They cut away the power. Powerless. You know, it was all interconnected, interconnected within the name. If it was up to me, I would have done it all in one run and kept my health moving forward. But you know what? I think getting some way to refill my health is only fair. I mean, you do. That's why as adventure, when you go into the final boss, you get to refill your health. So why not? Can't we have the same principles here? Point is, I have the four stars and that's really all I care about. Plus Wildfire. He's definitely bonus on top of it all. But that being said, though, this episode, and by extent, the session at hand is going to come to an end. I needed a break there so I could actually process for once what it is the fuck I just said. And now, let's roll the outro without further ado.